Let's show a practical example of how to add queue flows into Curata. But before starting there, let's review a little bit of the, the theory behind it. We all know about logs. That is where all these applications, you know, throws out about information about each of them. And typically, the logs that you will collect into an SIM are firewalls logs, Active Directory logs, uh, and, and application logs, etc. Then you have NetFlows, which are typically information that is sent by the routers, and this is layer four of the traffic. Basically, you know how the traffic gets to one point to another. There's also another la la layer higher called IP fix, which basically you can get from our XGS appliances. Uh, IP fix is an standard, our XGS uh, support that, and they provide application information. And on top of that, you have Qflow, which basically looks at layer seven, in other words, the payload, not just the frame that, you know, are used to send the data here, there, but what's in the payload. And from it, it can actually, you can get things like application info, most of the uh, uh, IP fix. You can get uh, source and destination, both IPs as well as ports. But most importantly, you can get the content and by default, it takes the first 64 bytes of every packet. And you can actually have it inspected and you can have rules that fire uh, depending on the content of that. So you can find, uh, let's say that uh, we have, we, we show a video and an example where we detected that an iPhone went to the Cydia uh, app store and that's because the word Cydia was in the payload. Uh, so that, that's the power of Qflows. So let me show you how we are going to be showing that. Here in my network at home, I have an access point, Wi-Fi, who is, uh, like in most homes, connected to, uh, let's call that the modem, the, the piece that the uh, internet provider puts at your home uh, to connect that to the internet. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to alter the actual uh, wiring so that the access point actually is going to be connected to port one of this dual com DGCGS. Let me actually write down the actual name of the device, dual com DCGS, which cost uh, around uh, 165 dollars and it's a, a one gigabit switch which also has a tap function on point uh, port four then what we will do is that we will connect the actual output of port two into the modem so all the traffic is forced to go in line here to the dual com and everything that goes there gets mirrored to this port five so we're going to connect that to the actual ET1 adapter of my Mac. This is the NIC, the physical adapter uh, that we have there. We are running there uh, VMware Fusion. When I'm running Curator, and what we're going to be doing is the virtual adapter ET1 of my Curator image, we're actually going to breach that. So we're going to be bridging the virtual ET1 to the physical ET1. In other words, what we are doing is that we are making Curator see all the traffic that is going through my access point here at home. So here I have the actual VMware image. And what we're going to be doing is actually going here into the settings of the VM. And if it's Windows, you, you'll do the same. 
and this is ETH0, which is already connected, uh, shared with my Mac, and this is the one, which is ETH1, which I'm going to first enable it, and I'm going to make it breach with the physical ETH1 of the Mac. That's all I need to do. The next step is going to the admin console, rather the admin tab of the console, and go here under flows, flow sources, and we're going to add a new flow source, which we're going to call it uh, ETH1QFlow. The type is QFlow precisely. The type of the source type is going to be actually the network interface. Is that's what we're going to be getting? We're not getting uh, net flows, jet flows. No, no, we're getting it straight from the network interface on the configuration that I uh, showed you before. The flow interface is ETH1. We save that. That is all we need to do. However, this requires a deployment of that change, as you see here. So, we see the deep, the deep is that we need to actually deploy the change. This is going to take a while, short while, so I'm going to pause the video until that finishes. So that deployed, we go to Network Activity, and we see actually activity from that network. Let me actually make yeah, my, my home network is 192.168.1, as many uh, networks are there. So I created a search. This actually, I was surprised that there was so much data. I just opened up one page on the browser and look at all the things that it generates, plus all the other devices that I have, uh, and IoT or, uh, or things at home. Uh, but if we, uh, we can actually take a look at uh, one search I created here is this one, my desktop, which is basically going to just filter everything that comes from from my desktop. And uh, if I go here on my desktop now to fox.com, one of those sites that, you know, when you load one page, uh, a gazillion other things get actually loaded. You can actually see that uh, the flows are actually coming. And where you see that C in there is that traffic has actually been captured. Most of my traffic is actually, it's good to know that is uh, most of them encrypted. That's very nice over my uh, tunnel um, for my VPN. But if I go to the desktop and actually open uh, a browser, I'm going to go to elmundo.es, uh, which is the Spanish uh, newspaper. We should start seeing some uh, Spanish flags uh, here pretty soon. And any one of those can be, you know, on the traffic that is not encrypted, of course. I mean, and you can set up a curator to, to, to gather uh, only encrypted data. But any one of these, you can actually uh, uh, inspect the actual traffic. So, for example, I can go to this one, which is on port 80, so it's on encrypted, and see, and curator has gotten the first 64 bytes of the, of the actual uh, packet. So we can actually have rules that, as I said before, fire on the content uh, of this. Well, I think this has been an interesting exercise where we have shown not only how you hook up uh, Qflows into Curator, but also the value. I mean, no logs here, no no net flows here, no IP fix, and still we can get a lot of value out of the uh, things happening on the network by virtue of getting the Qflows.